Imagine you commit a tort occurring entirely in your state and you get sued by the person you injured. But instead of suing you in a court located in your state, the plaintiff instead returns to her state of residence and files the lawsuit in that state's court system. You have no contacts with that state. Does the Due Process Clause permit that state court to exercise personal jurisdiction over you? The United States Supreme Court addressed this issue in Walden v. Fiore. Anthony Walden worked for the Drug Enforcement Administration. His duties included drug interdiction at the Atlanta airport. Walden stopped two passengers, Gina Fiore and Keith Gibson, who had flown into Atlanta on a connecting flight from Puerto Rico. Walden questioned them about nearly $97,000 of cash carried in their luggage. Fiore explained that she and Gibson were professional gamblers and that they had won the money legally. Walden directed a police drug dog to sniff the couple's bags and claimed that the dog had alerted to their bags. Walden then seized the cash, telling Fiore and Gibson that the government would return their cash if they proved it came from a legitimate source. Fiore and Gibson then flew home to Nevada. They retained an attorney who provided Walden proof that the cash was legal gambling winnings. In the meantime, Walden helped draft an affidavit to establish probable cause for forfeiture of the cash as ill-gotten drug trafficking proceeds. He submitted that affidavit to the United States Attorney's Office in Atlanta for consideration. That office refused to file a forfeiture action, and the cash was later returned to Fiore and Gibson. Fiore and Gibson then filed a lawsuit against Walden in the United States District Court for the District of Nevada, seeking money damages for constitutional violations related to Walden's seizure of the cash and his preparation of an allegedly false affidavit. The district court dismissed the lawsuit on the ground that there wasn't personal jurisdiction over Walden in Nevada. On Fiore and Gibson's appeal, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit reversed. The court reasoned that personal jurisdiction over Walden was proper in Nevada because he had prepared the affidavit with knowledge that Fiore and Gibson had connections to Nevada. Walden successfully petitioned the United States Supreme Court to review the case.